Hello, my name is Joshua Schifferinson. I'm an associate professor at Boston University. I'm a fellow with the Woodrow Wilson Center. And today I'll be speaking about the Ukraine crisis and what Russian President Vladimir Putin has won even without invading Ukraine. Well, so the first thing Putin has won is he's put a nail in the coffin about the prospects of NATO enlargement to include Ukraine. So by mobilizing forces and suggesting that indeed Russia might invade Ukraine, he's basically struck a bargain with the West by signaling what the cost will be and kill the prospect of future NATO enlargement to Ukraine, certainly for the foreseeable future. So the second thing Putin has won is he's very much changed the conversation about the future of European security affairs in general. Since the end of the Cold War, American foreign policy in Europe has focused on creating what was called a Europe whole, free, and at peace under the NATO umbrella. Now, however, it's very clear that the United States cannot get a Europe whole, free, and at peace via NATO because Russia is opposed to future NATO enlargement. So if the United States is to continue to play a prominent role in European security affairs, it needs to somehow adapt what its core foreign policy principles are in the neighborhood. So those two gains on Putin's part are really offset, though, by some fairly dramatic consequences. First of all, Russia is now basically isolated in Europe. Now, of course, states such as France and Germany, Macron and German Chancellor Schultz have gone to Moscow to try to broker deals. So, Mo so Moscow isn't isolated in a classical sense. It has diplomatic relations. Nevertheless, Russian, Russia's activities have really catalyzed a fairly strong NATO response. We see the alliance talking about future military deployments to Eastern Europe, tearing up the 1997 NATO-Russia founding act. So Russia, by virtue of threatening to invade Ukraine, has really galvanized NATO in a way that it hasn't been since the end of the Cold War. We could even go further. States such as Finland and Sweden, countries that were long neutral in the standoff between NATO and Russia, are now signaling that they want to take NATO side, perhaps join the alliance. So Putin has won, in the, it has won the concession of NATO non-expansion to include Ukraine, change the conversation about European security. The cost has come in a much more bifurcated Europe and a much colder relationship with much many of Russia's neighbors.